Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for using the By Blood Alone DLC in which we're going to attempt to survive against the Italians as good old Ethiopia. But before we can talk about our focuses and what we're going to do, um, here is our current national spirits, conservative high command, heroes of Africa, which is pretty nice, uh, on our own, which is not great, corrupt bureaucracy, which really sucks, Ethiopian industry, international Red Cross, which is okay. Um, the traditional warfare, which is not great and not bad, but just not really great at all. And then we have no naval traditions and an air force in infancy, which is not great either, but it's Ethiopia, what do you expect? But we're going to begin like everyone else, the second Italian Ethiopian war, a Christmas offensive. Didn't bring us a victory we had hoped for, and of course, need. It's time for Ahel Selassie to leave the capital and take a personal command of the armies. The war against the Italians need to be brought to an end. Falling back. Get a movement and attack penalty for Ethiopian controlled border states for 60 days, or new defenses. You lose defense, you get more infantry attack, northern thrust, that's, wow. Um, de victory in the desert, so, I'll be honest, I've not tried this before, this is my first time trying this. Forts are okay, not great. But, <clears throat> um, if things go poorly for us, and then I might have to do some stuff off screen, but. Uh, I call the military Ahel Selassie Air, or Fester. Our military is proving to be very antiquated compared to the other powers in the region. Both in terms of equipment and thinking, we shall establish our military academy to train a new generation of officers on how to fight modern war, so. Um, what I'm really looking for is, like, factories. Really expand the metal of Safari. I get more defense, which is pretty nice. Keep them. Scavenging tactics. Uh, I don't think we'll get very much. I mean, we are in frickin' Africa here, so. <clears throat> That'd be good to get rid of, too. The Junior Officer Corps. So, but I don't think we can really get too many factories. Uh, state of industry to civvies, not millies. We need millies. Of course, we just have to hold out here. Um, develop Shiva. We need to increase the pace of industrialization for the betterment of our people and the protection of Ethiopia. Therefore, we shall invest in the areas surrounding Addis Ababa, turning into an industrial heartland of Ethiopia. Also, we can only make guns. We have no steel. Well, never enough. Um, what do we want to support? Sweden, Turkey, China. China. We love China here. That's fine. Also, we need a general or good marshal, but we have nobody here. So. Well, we have no later details anyways. You? Ooh, we're probably going to go there, I'm sure. So, we're probably going to get attacked and get destroyed, probably. Uh, we're going to lose in the first battle. You just go and retreat. Don't worry about it. Retreat that way, too. Because, like everyone else who's... I've, I've watched... I've watched some other Hopper YouTubers doing this as well. They're not actually taking gear down yet. It's fine with us. Uh, we just need to hold as best we can. Yeah, division's not very good, not very good. But, like I said, War Escalation 1, we have to look at the defensive. So moving forward, but we're losing momentum. Soon energy brought on by the counterattack will have worn off. Oh, no, taking us a That's not good, not good, not good, not good. Well, the north. Gradual War Escalation, we have to wait like 100 days. That's not bueno. We should be okay right there. Um, I'm not actually sending you down here. Uh, you guys go right there. Because we're sending divisions moving to here, like, normal. Ooh, we're down here 30. What, what is this? Oh, we can do this stuff over here. Um, I've been told that this is pretty good to get. In the general, one unit irregular. So yeah, let's grab that. Oh, Baljo Safo returns. The former Shuma of Sidamo and one's the... Dejez Mak of the Ethiopian army has accepted the call from Heo Selassie to once again take Arab arms for this country. The leader of Adwa brings him recruits with his personal domains. Oh, this can help us drive the time and invasion back. Return of a true hero, which is good. Now, we could do this route, but... Oh, we can do Shiba. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, now, we do have different routes. I'm going to try to prevent doing this too much for now. Um, just because we will need... I, I, I want to use a save as, like... Save to bounce onto different Ethiopian campaigns, but we'll see. If I have to do some of this, uh, we'll see. But I do want to do the Emperor's Stays. And either do Ja or Ya. So we can get the... Um, what is this one? We get a lot of compliance growth. Be God of Rastafari. Or the One True Heir of Solomon. I think that'd be a really fun route. Of course, I'm going to do all these routes eventually, so we'll see. But let's save that for later. Let's do this one first. More army XP would be very nice. Another division would be very good as well. Send me boys this way. We're going to annex them, which is fine. And then we're going to go to the gut. Thank you. Just hold out as best you can. 
and we have another control. So now we we have to get more attack and defense. Activation risk or effect. Risk of demoralized Ross of currently only controlling 50% or less of home territory. So motion to retake infantry modifiers. We lose political power, but we get more attack and defense, which is important. Um, getting more infrastructure would be pretty nice, though. At the same time, though, what do we have? What's this one? The chit -chit. Oh. Automatic increase. Automatic increase of penalties and manpower reserves under war. Well, I would like this guy. So I'll be, I'll get some. We might want to save our political power for this guy. Or. Oh, 150 is going to be good. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice job, guys. Oh, well, we're out of civvies. Well, we think another milli. Oh, we have three millis. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. He falls ill. Dude, don't, why'd you fall ill? We're holding the south, which is actually what you could do. Cavalry leader. At least four at level attack. I'm going to make him a field marshal. <clears throat> Let's put you here. That's fine. Hold, hold, hold your bananas. Hold your bananas. Hold your bananas. Hold your bananas. Um, 62 days. For our heroism. We cannot afford to lose there. We literally cannot afford to lose there. So please stop trying to lose there. Get back in there. <laughs> the south is... They're still holding out. Alright, so... Uh, this is also on hey, historical's blood to let you know. In the first ever class to finish Ecole Militaire, Hey, Salas, the first that will have to go straight from the school to the war. Having managed to build a school and complete the education of the first class of cadets, while at the same uh, same time fighting a war, which is truly a major feat. That's the start of a new era for the Ethiopian military. Preserve our focus on attack. Add bold attack. Traditional warfare. Could have a more defensive mindset. We're actually holding out relatively okay for now. We're never unprepared for war. Let me speed in. Um, um, I kind of want to see what would be more attack. 5% defense is not bad. I want more attack. Ethiopian Air Force. We'll probably not keep them. Regional training centers. Oh, but I would definitely want this way. Well, it kind of depends what we want to do. Hepuar. <clears throat> because if we board the train eventually, because we can eventually, if we really wanted to. Strengthening the Black Lions. Reclaiming Ethiopia. But we must be given the next up. Or we don't have to be, but still. Are the Ras? A federal empire? African unity? Oh, we get a research slot. That'd be good. Scavenging tactics, equipment capture ratio modifier. That might be really good to get right now, too. Let's try that one. We'll expand our industrial base. We should train our troops and spotting was useful and recoverable on the battlefield. Let's go along with keeping them well supplied until we can consistently produce and transport even our own equipment. What are we putting roads? What are we over here? Anything else we really care about? That's the case. No. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab. Oh, we can't grab that. I can't take it. If the speed is okay. Concealment. Eh. You down here. I'm kind of surprised we're still. Well, we were are, are able to somewhat hold out there. But we need more guns, bruh. We also need a field marshal, but. So far, not bad. Losses, 13,000 and 15,000. That's not bad. So you gotta hold out a little bit longer. Go down for sure. Definitely go. Oh, god dang it. We gotta go down for sure. Well, everyone's learning a lot, so this is actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh boy. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to lose. You're not allowed to lose. No, 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 no. Get your butts in there. No, no, no. Oh god. Okay. Get more stuff there. Um, do I really want this one or do I want the other one? This one's just better overall. Promote war heroes. Hero of Ethiopia. Well, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for all that stuff. As much as I want to do all stuff, I'm gonna best wait. Add units, but you can't add them yourself. Let's go to the University of Addis Ababa. <clears throat> 
The ferocity of our troops must determine the course of a battle. Now the battles can be fought over great distances without soldiers even seeing one another. We must invest in institutions of learning so that we may develop new technologies to wage war and for manufacturing the tools to do so. Come on, hold out, hold out. You can hold out. I know you can. Good, 13 days. So we're here, no effects. No effects. Oh, oh, oh come on. War escalation will increase as well. You are going to get this. Come on, come on, hold out. You can hold out. Yes, you can. Just a little bit of microwing, that's all. Alright. Oh crap, we need more command part. Okay, we can dig it. Just entrench yourself, you know, that's all I have to do. Ooh, are they losing there too? God dang it. They are forcing the attack, wow. Just a few more command power. Could we reclaim this one? Probably not. The Soviet Union, 24,000, 27,000, that's not bad. Plenty of manpower for now. So far, not bad. Extort heroism. Military theorists, land doctrine cost is not worth it right now. What is this? Plants, growth. Abuna? Sancho loyalist, a little more political power is not bad, but still. Modernist. Smooth talker. Supply range. Minister of Finance, that's not bad. More output and better consumer goods. Not bad. I will play as a fascist route sometime for Ethiopia as well. Well, we're not there yet. Alright, so we've gone to Escalation 2, which doesn't, means nothing. God dang it. Come on. Get back in there. You need at least two divisions for here. Gun-wise, we are looking not great. You know what? I wonder the mountain division. Cancel that one. Spread the, share the guns back to where we need to really put them. And get some more uh, research speed. Oh, good. God dang it. I mean, the, the regulars, the militia divisions, basically, are not bad at holding out. They're, they really are not bad at all. Nice. Improve the administration. There remains a great deal of corruption within the education establishment. This is unacceptable in institutions who supposedly prospire themselves in meritocracy. We must ruthlessly root out this corruption from our schools and universities. Come on, you're not allowed. To, you're not allowed to. Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to get to here, but let's save it just in case, real quick. <sighs> Go and do that fire spine. Whatever. It doesn't cost that much. They love attacking, though. Come on. Increase war selection by one and two. Increase embargo. Arms purchases are going to be super, super important. Alright, so grab this guy too. Oh, I should have gone over here. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. Plus 0.3 is, that's pretty darn good. Oh, I could have gotten this point, plus 0.2 though. Plus 0.4. I guess I could have grabbed this guy, but whatever. Infantry, is a, international reputation grows. Great. Uh, public sympathy for Ethiopia's cause has always been strong, however. No one really expected the country to hold on for more than a month or so. Our dogged resistance to the Italian invaders is winning the hearts of people around the world, and country leaders are starting to take Ethiopia more seriously. If only they could do more than talk. Nice, we're level 4 already. Awesome. Um, disband the chit chit. When the war is over, it's time to levy, let the levy return to their homes. Calling up the national levy to give the state access to a lot of troops very fast. Levy served the country well during over the centuries. When the war is over, they can be, also be back to home to their civilian lives. Well. Let's take a look-see. So, there, for forest, hills, mountains, and deserts, 50% more attack, 5% more defense, which is not bad. We can't edit these guys, so they're going to be outclassed eventually. Which sucks, but still. So, let's come over here. Is anything else here? I would like roads. It's not bad, but still. 225. Being in the interior, not democratic. We're, on, we're not aligned. I like that one so much. Modernist and reformer. Construction speed, that's okay. Sound for loyalists. Does not chief of army Casa Hail Darj? They must hate each other. How much political power do we get? 0.9. Huh. So the interior. So the world goes on us. 
Empress Minin Asfal. Interesting. Extra finance as well. Well, I'll probably grab. Ooh. Defense is not bad. I just buy. Uh. Imru Heisasi. Oh. Point four is so good though. We'll get more defense. We'll see. Or just go straight to total mobilization. Or Let's go to war economy, maybe. Ooh, okay. So, when can we ask for arms purchases? Oh, the focus unlocked. Okay. The focus for it is unlocked. Well. Let's hit focus. Falling back, New York Northern Thrust, Mercs, Lessons of War, which would be good to get eventually too. Um, Hamburg, Sandback Lines, State Bank of Africa. Um, the League of Nations. I'm probably not seeing it, but I'm sure I'll find it very soon. Uh, but besides this one, we're gonna do Addis Ababa School of Technology. We're just focusing on tech as we're getting killed by I Italians. Our education reforms prove successful and well worth the investment. We should accelerate our program by bringing together the nation's engineering experts into a single school of technology and Ethiopian Air Force. Whether it be supporting troops on the battlefield or the destruction of enemy infrastructure, the plane is moving an invaluable asset. Must stab your own Air Force in order to protect your people and, and now enemies. here we're at April 22nd, 1937. I've gone ahead and done rally around the Emperor. His Majesty Hail Selassie is a lynchman. The holds of a diverse empire together in this time of crisis. We must put aside our petty grievances and rally behind His Majesty as the very survival of Ethiopia and his people are at stake. But the Emperor stayed. Despite pleas from advisors, His Majesty Hail Selassie has taken the heroic decision to remain in Ethiopia and continue to fight alongside his brave warriors. Hope they can bring his victory in the empire of Drakistar. The lion stands firm. By conquering the lion uh, of the tribe of Judea, his Imperial Majesty Hail Selassie has proved to be a capable warrior. We must rally the troops by showing them the strength of the Emperor as we fight alongside of them and demonstrate that the Italian war machine can be defeated, which I guess I didn't get him, but whatever. Um, the heroes of Ethiopia. Many of our military leaders have proven themselves to be excellent strategists, despite the enemy's overwhelming material advantage. Our military leaders have ground their advance to a halt. We must reward those heroes for contributing to Ethiopia's continued survival. Volunteers. Across the world, oppressed peoples looked to Ethiopia as a symbol of hope and struggle against overwhelming imperialistic aggression. Now, people from beyond our borders have begun to rally behind Ethiopian banners to fight alongside us. It seems that still those who are unwilling to see the dreams of freedom snuffed out on the whims of Benito Mussolini. So, um, we have all that. We're, we're in the, I decided, you know what, screw it. Let's just keep the chit for now. They've served us well as a relatively agricultural nation. We struggle to be fielding a permanent professional military or army at all times. It's best to stick with what we know. Now, it's gotten a little easier now since. They're thinning out their lines up here and down here too, so I don't understand why. We have the couch here, 75,000 to 108,000. Um, I did look over here, but they do have Army of Africa disheartened, so I wonder if it is actually possible at all right now to see if we could actually do this, maybe. Could we make it at least an encirclement of a single division? Do this. You guys spread out like this, this, this. And now they are leaving? Hello? Is that possible to maybe thrust into them? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe yes? Italian offer for peace. We have Italy on the rule on. Our mighty arms have inflicted such heavy losses that the towns are crawling on their bare knees, begging for peace. Our country is as war torn one, and peace would be much welcome, but this might also be a great opportunity to press the victory even further. To make sure that no foolish European country tries to conquer unconquerable Ethiopia again. Their war spots are really bad, too. Peace it is. Um, nah, we're good. Man, my voice is cracking now, too. Oh, my God. What if you just took that tile? Oh, and they're uniting, huh? Wow. What if I told you that you're going to force attack? They can force defense as much as they want. We're going to force attack. Well, their divisions are trying to leave, it looks like. Well, Schneikies. End of the League of Nations. Well, I guess we can no longer call them the League of Nations. Uh, sure. It's fine. Come on in, guys. I don't know where the divisions went. 
That's okay with us. Uh, for now, that's fine. All right then. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. I love AS Oracle. Um, let's see if your neighbor base is Shiwa. Renewed offenses. The town might be trying to regain the initiative. Uh, also, this will be pretty good as well. Um, but that just means they're unsuspecting of an attack by our forces. Instead of just holding on, we should bring them to battle. Oh, we could try that, maybe. Oh! Oh, they're at war with the French. Oh, my bad. <clears throat> my voice is cracking too, which is not very good, but whatever. No, you're going to force the attack. I guess it does help. So we won. So we do have 30% here, but we should at least get what we want from here. So, okay then. Now what? Oh, cool, we get a convoy? That's great. Um, well, I want to do all this stuff, but, oh, I can't even do this one. Oh, they're in the Civil War, which does screw us over a little bit. Oh, that sucks. That's stupid. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, for the administration still? I guess we'll see what happens with the Civil War now. I should have not done that, but... Uh, our education reforms are proving successful and worth investment. We should accelerate our progress by bringing together the nation's engineering experts into single school technology. Fate accompli. Well, many assume Ethiopia will be a foot on history of colonialism is inherent. Instead, become uh, overcome the overwhelming odds by not only repelling the Italian invasion, but also completely ejecting the Republic Socia Italiana from East Africa. All that remains to be done is for the Italians to formally recognize Education reforms. The recent wave of education reforms are already proving successful. The ancient hierarchies of Ethiopia are increasingly. <clears throat> I mean, called into question is the young demand. They prove the legitimacy. Although this has stirred up tensions between young and old generations, it seems the attitudes will ultimately shift in our favor. Time's on our side. So we did win the war. I've already expanded the Chittit stuff too. Um, the reason why we won, though, is because I think Italy went to war with France, and or went to war with Yugoslavia, and then that called in France, and then they died. Um, and I also took Sicily because... and North Epirus because... and don't look at e Libya. Oh my god. This is so bad. It's not even funny. It's so bad. But we're looking okay over here, as we're doing uh, the King of Kings. His Majesty House of Laos, he has delivered us from the humiliating fate of becoming servants to the Italians. He is a leader without equal in the modern world and should be revered as much. Elect of God. <coughs> Excuse me. We see God in the actions of our Emperor. How else can we explain his success on the battlefield and in his stewardship of the Great Empire? People know what that know that to do with the Emperor's bidding Emperor's bidding is to act in accordance with the willingness of the Almighty, so uh, and I really want to get this one because we get more daily compliance game, which we really need. Oh, hello. They're not. Uh, hello. They are Selassie. More political powers, mobilization speed, stability, ideology, drift defense. They just wipe peace out? What the heck? Oh, we can't just find them. Oh, and, and this is still Mussolini down here, but let's grab another focus. Oh, to God. So, that is. He's been isolated. It's kind of like Napoleon. Oh, the Italian Social Republic. It's been isolated down there, so. It's kinda cool. Oh, uh, we have no guns though, which really sucks. And we have no manpower, god dang it. Okay, so we really gonna need some more manpower. Um, I should not have dis dis disbanded that. Yeah, I really should not have disbanded that. We need way more right now. Um, good god, we need manpower. Oh, Jesus Christ. Form the Empire of Aksum, Lord of Lords. Although our empire consists of many cultures, they'll all bow down to the same Lord of Lords. Even those noble lords know there's duty to the Emperor. His Majesty is the undisputed ruler of the lands. Restore the Empire of Aksum. From the lands of Sedan to the Arabian Peninsula, at one point they were all controlled by our ancestors. Our dominion has been chipped away over the centuries, leaving us vulnerable to the whims of the Europeans. The time has come to turn the tide, we shall embrace our heritage by reforming the Empire of Aksum and reclaiming our ancestral lands. That's cool. Now, I might do one of these, or I might do the other one. I'm not sure which one we should do. We should do both, you know. Um, the Rastafarian movement has created an unexpected network of Ethiopian supporters across the globe. Many attribute great religious significance to Emperor Hale Selassie. Some go as far as to claim that he's the embodiment of God, or more accurately, Jah. Perhaps we should utilize our international movement, or sport, by embracing this Rastafarian movement, or the one true heir of Solomon. His Majesty's Hale Selassie can trace his royal bloodlines all the way back to the great King uh, Solomon. While many nations have turned their backs on God, we Ethiopians have remained steadfast in our belief. 
In the age of chaos, it's only right that the one true heir of Solomon should reign over the body, Holy Land, to protect it from the corrupting influence of the man-made ideologies. Support anti-colonialist resistance. The threat of conflict will hang over us indefinitely with the colonial powers remaining that foothold in East Africa. We must push them out of the region by arousing the masses and giving them the means to regain their independence and rebuild the country. <clears throat> which authority, a full authority over our lands restored, we can finally begin repairing the damage to our homes and issues caused by Italians. Which we need more compliance for everything that we've got. But we're going to develop Shiwa, of course, as well. Infrastructure projects, which would be best. Uh, Bank of Ethiopia would be pretty nice as well. Um, tax exemptions. Uh, by expanding the resources of the State Bank of Ethiopia, we can give the people a new line of credit as an act as a financial derelict for the derelict for the ailing Ethiopian economy, part of our own. We do need a port badly too. Um, shipbuilding, because we uh, I'll show you why in just a little bit. State owned industries, as much as I like that, we're probably going to encourage local development. Nobody can fully anticipate the needs of an entire economy, and it's dangerous to pretend otherwise. We shall leave the regions to develop to see how they fit. After all, the local political establishment and businesses will know best what is required in the regions. So we'll do that one. Establish a naval base. Uh, with the recent acquisition of a port, we've opened ourselves up to another theater of war. We must establish our own naval base and begin constructing a navy to defend our own new shorelines. Yeah, we don't need some vampire. So, and mounted chit it. In the deserts of the east and the mountains of the west, our homeland consists of various difficult to traverse terrains. It's therefore well suited to wheel or track vehicles. However, counts and horses have been proven over millennia to prove more than up to the task. So. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll probably have at least one more episode in this one, just because I want to see what else we can do. Our map is going to become a massive issue. I don't like the Chicha at all, but we'll probably need to hurt their privileges of power. But we'll see what happens. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And see you tomorrow, as we'll see what else we can do with Ethiopia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.